So what do most people do? They bury their guilt. They compensate it. They rationalize their behavior. They say, no, no, no. Yes, I said something wrong, but you said it first. Or this happened first. Or it was because of this. And there's always a line of reasons to cover your guilt. But Allah Azza wa Jalla says, if you're true to yourself, then you will acknowledge the real guilt you have and do something right about it instead of covering it up. And then, now if when those two things are there inside the human conscience, first of all character, and second of all the, the nafs al-lawama, then understanding that a day is coming when all of our deeds will be brought before us, and all of that guilt that was poking us and saying, hey, you better do a good deed to compensate for this bad deed, so you don't get in really serious trouble one day, all of that that was happening inside of our souls, that'll all pan out. Then it makes total sense. But if someone has no guilt left inside of them, what akhira? What are you talking about, Yawm al Qiyamah? What, what judgment day? Ayahsabul insan Allah najma'a idama. Has the human being assumed that we're not going to be gathering his bones? You know why I love these ayat? Because these are the ayat that teach us that our deen is not just a computation of, you know, here's the proof and therefore you believe in Allah. And it's just total just logic and rationale and that's it. It's not just that. Human beings were created far more advanced than just pure, you know, ABC and rationale. There is a, there is a lot of rationality in our religion. It is. There's a lot of common sense in our religion, a lot of thought in our religion. But Allah Azza wa Jal knows who He created. He created a human being that has emotions, a human being that has a psychology, a, fe- a feelings, that cannot be computed. You can't put them in an equation. You can't compute guilt. You can't do that. So there are some aspects of a human being coming to guidance that are internal, and Allah makes them a proof. And that's not a proof you can use against somebody else in a philosophical debate. That's a proof for you inside you that this is truth. That it's just inside you that Allah put that there. Subhanallah. So, أَيَحْسَبُ insanu أَلَّا نَجْمَعَ عِظَامَ Has the human being assumed, made the assumption, calculation, that we're not going to be gathering his bones together? Bala. No, no, on the contrary. Qadirin, We have completely been capable. عَلَىٰ أَن نُسَوِّيَ بَنَانَهُ that we can put together and fashion and even out every single one of his fingertips. Forget, you know, when we die and, and our bones are decayed, rufatan wa idaman wa rufatan, the Quran says, the, the critics said that it's going to be turned into bones and decayed dirt. It's going to be crumbled. You try to pick up the bone, it'll just collapse. That's going to be an old, you know, a skeleton. We're going to be raised again, Allah says, down to your last fingertip. I'll, I'll put you back together. By the way, the word banana comes from the word banan. No kidding. Seriously. The word banana, for bananas, the fruit, comes from the Arabic word banan, which means fingers. And it came from the, the, the Muslim world. And the, the, uh, the, the, the Englishmen, they saw the banana, the shape of the banana is shaped like what? The finger. It's like a long finger. So that's how it got coined in English. It's actually originated from Arabic. Anyhow. بَلْ يُرِيدُ insan. However the human being, rather the case is that the human being intends لِيَفْجُرَ أَمَامَهُ Yes, Sophia, they do look like bananas. You checked? Okay. Okay. Let's <laughs> try to peel it. بَلْ يُرِيدُ الْإِنسَانُ لِيَفْجُرَ أَمَامَهُ However the human being intends to continue to do whatever he wants in front of him. Fajara literally means explosion. Like infijar is explosion. Fajr is the explosion of light. Fajr time is the explosion of light. A fajr is someone who explodes, in other words, has no control over his whims. He just bursts into whatever behavior, whatever comes in his thought, comes out of his mouth. Whatever urge he has, he follows it. This is a fajr. Uncontrolled, outbursts. You know, that's the, the, the kind, that kind of sinner is called a fajr. لِيَفْجُرَ amamahu, The human being just wants to do whatever whim he has, whatever, whatever, whatever impulse he has, he wants to follow it right in front of him immediately. Human beings are just impulsive. That's why they don't want to think about Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Because guilt makes you say, don't do this. Guilt makes you say, don't do this. But a nafsul lamara makes you say, come on, do it now. Why are you waiting? Why wait? What's the point? Live, you know, live today. You don't know about tomorrow. You know? So this is لِيَفْجُرَ amamahu. Human beings actually what they want is they want to just explode and do sins that are right in front of them. Who, who cares about tomorrow? يَسْأَلُوا أَيَّانَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ Party is right now. When is judgment day? When is the day of rising? What is that? I don't see that happening anytime soon. We got time. Don't worry about it. 
We're young right now. Why are you so stressed out about Judgment Day and the earth coming to an end? Just chill out, man. This is exactly Allah painting the picture of the of especially young person who's got the life in front of him or her, the party, the the the, the mode the, the mode to do it is there, money is there, opportunity is there, freedom is there, you know, the 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 um, you know the overbearing control of parents isn't there. They're by themselves in the city of Irving. Nobody knows what they do at night. Nobody knows. There's no control. Never since never seen that kind of freedom before. And an impulse comes, and they're just going to do whatever they do, whatever comes in their heart. Unless, and then they, when somebody, the thought doesn't even come judgment day. Yeah, yeah, I know judgment day, but right now this, and then later is tikhfat. Tomorrow is Jumaa. You know, and I will make it all up. Well, you read the insan who lives for a mama. Yes, alu ayana yom ulkiyama. Well, when? When is yom ulkiyama coming? ولا يسألوا متى يوم القيامة يقول أيان فيه استهزاء في الكلمة أيان أيان مرساها أيان يوم القيامة و when come on when is judgment when is day of resurrection if it's a genuine question you don't say أيان what do you say متى 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 you know there's a curiosity in it there's an استفهام a genuine استفهام أيان is a joke oh come on judgment really really resurrection you're worried about that فَإِذَا بَرِقَ الْبَصَرُ When the eyes are twinkled, when they're flashed, you know, دَهِشَ And then, uh, you know, they, they say فَزْعًا out of, out of fear, when the eyes are just like, <gasps> that eyes like the bulging like that, that's بَرِقَ And from بَرْقَ also lightning, lightning strikes and you're like, like that? When the eyes go that way, وَخَصَفَ الْقَمَرُ And the sun, or rather the moon, its light goes away, it goes dark. Subhanallah, in the previous surah, what was the one of the istidlal? The brightness of the moon in the middle of the night. Right? And then now the moon's going to go dark. وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And the sun and the moon are going to be smashed into one another. They're going to be made one. وَيَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَئِذٍ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ And the human being will say on that day, the outcry will be, Where do I go? Where's the place to run off to? Where's the escape? أَيْنَ الْمَحْرَبْ مِنَ العذاب. كَلَّا No, 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 no. لا وزر. There is absolutely no burden, meaning no place to go that can cover for you. La malja, wa la manja. Wazar actually, from, from wizard, wizard means barrier. Wazar is like a, you know, a bunker? A bunker is basically barriers from the attack. There's no place you'll find a barrier. There's nothing that's gonna hold up. إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذٍ on, Towards your master on that day, al mustaqar is the place where you have to go and stand place where you have to remain. Yunabba'ul insan, the human being is going to get interrogated. He's going to be, or rather, uh, informed thoroughly. Yawma'idhin, on that day. Bima qaddama wa akhara. Very powerful phrase. Previous surah said, Liman sha'a minkum an yataqaddama aw yataakhar. Now Allah says, now that pre- previous surah had the offer. Whoever of you wants, they can take a step forward. Whoever of you wants, they can stay back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.